Today, we'll find the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. I'll show you this picture. I have put a sign here, a circle with a dot and CE, small written. Now this is the sign that we use for circumference. Small d, the letter, we will be using for the diameter. <coughs> now let's start. How do we find the ratio? To find the ratio, we need the circumference and we need the diameter. And you already know how did we find the diameter and the circumference with the use of a thread. Now the circumference is the perimeter of a circle and what we'll do is, can you see D is here. So we can start measuring the circumference by putting the thread at one point. So this is my starting point. So I just go along the circumference of the circle with this wool. So I have reached this place now and I have completed one full round of the circle. So the length of this wool will give me the circumference of the circle and how can I find the length? I can find the length of this with the help of a measuring tape. Now if I measure this with the help of the measuring tape, it is coming out to be something. Now what I do is, secondly, I want to find the diameter. To find the diameter again, I will place the wool here at one end of the diameter, take it along the diameter and put it here, right? Now this much is the length of the diameter of the circle. I can cut it and measure it and then paste it on a piece of paper. I will now be showing you the calculations that I have done for the circles. Now for I have sort of done an experiment for this. I have taken three circles. Can you see all of you? I have taken three circles. Circle 1, circle 2, circle 3. Now, these 1 is blue in color, 2 is green in color and red is, uh, third is red in color. Now, I have found out the circumference and the diameters of all these three circles and I have stuck the length of the wools on this piece of paper. If you watch carefully, the longer threads are, represent the circumference of the circle and the shorter threads represent the diameter of the circle. Now for the first circle, which is blue in color, when I measure the circumference, it has come out to be equal to 31.4 centimeters. The diameter of the circle is 10 centimeters. Now circumference upon diameter is equal to 31.4 upon 10. If on calculating this, I get... 3.14 right now I have take, done the same thing for the second circle can you see this green colored circle now for this circle the circumference is 25.3 centimeters the diameter is 8 centimeters the ratio circumference to diameter is 25.3 upon 8. Now centimeter and centimeter 
cancel and on calculating we get 3.16 there's no unit for this as it is a ratio now let's come to the third circle third circle is red in color and the diameter uh, diameter of the third circle is 6 cm and the circumference of the third circle is 18.9 cm circumference upon diameter is equal to 18.9 upon 6 cm on calculating it comes out to be equal to 3.15 no no unit as it is a ratio what have we observed now i have tabulated all this into a chart for the three circles i have written down the circumference i have also written down the diameter and i have written down the ratio circumference upon diameter wow what do you find now the ratio circumference to diameter is nearly the same for all the three circles 3.14 3.16 so we can say that the ratio circumference to diameter of a circle is equal to 3.14 and this we say is a constant quantity if i take the diameter on the other side i can write it as circumference is equal to constant into d now this constant we write it as the greek letter pi representing the english letter p now circumference is equal to pi d this is one formula and i have already told you that the diameter is equal to 2 times radius so if in place of diameter i write 2 times radius then i get circumference is equal to 2 pi r now this pi i say is a constant quantity it does not change you can take as many circles as you want here i have taken only 3 you can take as many circles as you want you will find that the ratio of circumference to diameter is equal to a constant and the ratio of circumference to radius is equal to 2 times that constant so what have we learned today we have learned that the ratio of the circumference and diameter of any circle is a constant quantity all circles the ratio is a constant quantity and this constant we define as pi now this pi has a value of around 3.14 we can also write down the value of pi as 22 upon 7 and we use these two values for doing our mathematical calculations so if you like the video please share it like it and subscribe to the channel